Hey, what is going on? This is Rob from Panther, and today we're going to check out how to create this abstract spiral made out of linear spiral in Illustrator. Okay, first step, let's make sure that we're on the stroke. I'm going to swap this to stroke so I don't have anything on the fill. And we're going to need to create a spiral. As you can see, we got this traditional spiral tool that creates this sort of spiral, you know, when here is like really wide and at the center it basically gets really narrow. So it's like a three-dimensional hole tunnel thing right there so we don't want this we want a linear spiral so i'm going to show you how to do that eventually okay i'm going to go and long click here and select the polar grid tool if you don't have the polar grid tool you can click on these three dots and up here you got the polar grid tool you just can pull it in right here and with the polar grid tool basically you can create some interesting forms i can press the upper arrow so it's going to add like more circles you can press the left or right arrow to add more crossing lines and now i'm going to delete this and we're going to check it out the options of the polar grid tool i'm going to double click on the polar grid tool and here we can see the settings so we got the radial dividers number it's on 13 so these are basically the crossing lines that basically are dividing the circle i'm going to decrease this to zero and we get the number i'm going to try it out with 11 12 i'm going to go with 12 click ok i'm going to press and hold shift plus alt now and i'm going to scale it up and as you can see we got the new updated polar grid okay i'm going to select the direct selection tool from here and i'm going to select here so as you can see we got anchor points in all the circles on the top so i'm just going to select all the anchor points and go all all the way to the smallest circle uh, upper part here so as you can see these anchor points are all selected i'm going to press ctrl x and then ctrl v and i'm going to select it and put it right here as you can see in the center they intersect perfectly with the magenta color that's what we want okay so the top one is basically on group separated now we got this bottom one which is grouped together i'm going to right click on group right click on group again and now it's ungrouped also and i'm gonna need to delete um the right one here like this the bottom and as you can see we got two lines i'm gonna delete the interior one and it's just gonna go all the way round and round and delete these and now we're left with a perfect linear spiral so i'm gonna select all of the lines because check this out everything is like separated and we don't want that I'm going to join these together. I'm going to select all of it and I'm going to go to object, path, and click on join. From here, I'm going to press and hold alt, drag it to the right, create a new copy. And as you can see, it starts to create some interesting stuff. Okay. I'm going to press and hold shift, rotate it 180 degrees until it's going to look something like this. As you can see, we can position it back perfectly. I mean, not perfectly, but let me see. I'm going to need to make and make stroke i'm gonna press ctrl y basically i'm gonna need to put this somewhere around it has to be somewhere around here ctrl y again and i'm gonna select one and pull it all the way to the left and there you go now we got the outline of this uh, circular effect now i'm gonna select both i'm gonna go to the pathfinder click on divide I'm going to right click on group. If you don't have a pathfinder, by the way, you can go to windows and select the pathfinder, which is located right here. Okay. Now we're going to add some gradients. I'm going to click on the fill here and I'm going to click on the gradient. I'm going to activate the gradient. There you go. Okay. Uh, from here, I'm going to select these without the circle there. And I'm going to pull this out and delete the unnecessary lines. And I'm going to select these right here on the right. Press and hold shift and select all of it. Right click group. Okay, I'm gonna type in here 90 degrees and I'm gonna select the left ones. Press and hold shift, select the left ones. Right click group and I'm gonna type in here minus 90 degrees. And there you go. This is how you make this linear spiral effect in Illustrator. Thanks so much for watching. And if you're new on the channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get notified with daily updates. And also check out the rest of the videos at the end. Have a good one. Bye bye.